Hello, my name is Jessica Gilpatrick and I'm the Technical Trainer and Outreach Specialist for the MyBoar Realtor Association. Today, I'm going to be talking about MyBoar's new lockbox solution powered by MasterLock. This brief tutorial demonstrates how administrators can manage their MasterLock Bluetooth lockboxes. In this tutorial, you will first learn how to set up and log in to the MasterLock Vault Enterprise app. Then, we will register your lockbox in the app and locate the sharing code so you can link the box with your BrokerBay account. I'll show you how to open the door and remove the shackle using both Bluetooth functionality and a primary access code, as well as how to change the battery. Finally, we'll wrap up with some information about the online platform as well as access options should you need them. You will first need to download and log in to the free MasterLock Vault Enterprise app, available in both Google Play and Apple App Stores. To log in, you will use the credentials sent to your email from noreply at masterlockvault.com. If you cannot locate this email, you can enter your organization ID, which is mybor underscore your MLS number, and your email address, and select Forgot Password. The app will send an email with a new temporary password, which you can copy and paste into the password field and select Sign In. Once you are logged in, the app will prompt you to create a new password. If you meet all of the requirements, you can select Done, accept the terms of use, and press Submit. You should then see a screen similar to this one, called your Locks tab. To register a new lockbox using the app, you will need to locate the QR code associated with its device ID. Packaged inside the box is an information card. On this card, locate the QR code labeled Device ID. This ID can also be located on the outside of the packaging and the bottom corner of your lockbox. In your Locks tab, press the plus sign in the top right corner. From the Add a New Lock menu that appears, select the option to scan a QR code. Your app may ask you to allow camera access, so be sure to say yes. Once allowed, you can hover the camera over the QR code. It usually only takes a few seconds to register, and then a lock activated message appears, asking what you'd like to do next. For now, I'll select Done. Master Lock MyBoar lockboxes are preloaded with BrokerBay integration. So the next step in utilizing your new lockbox is to link it to your BrokerBay account via its sharing code and device ID. So let's view how to locate those items. In your Locks tab, tap directly on the tab associated with any lock in your account. The sharing code will be the same for all locks registered to you. What appears now is called the Lock Details screen, which contains options for settings, access, location, and history. Under Settings, select About This Lock. Within this menu, you can view purchase links by tapping on the tab or by dropping down the menu. Next to the Broker Bay icon is your sharing code. This is a code provided by MasterLock that is used to activate your lockbox with Broker Bay. You can take a screenshot of this code or write it down and save it somewhere for easier access in the future. In Broker Bay, administrators can access the lockbox management screen in two ways. They can drop down the personal profile menu and select lockboxes, or open the admin screen and select manage lockboxes. To add a new lockbox, click the plus new lockbox button in the top right corner. Drop down the brand menu and choose master lock. For purposes of security and inventory management, it is not recommended for everyone to have access to all lockboxes. So there is currently no functionality within Broker Bay that will allow this to occur. However, you can assign the lockbox to a specific agent by dropping down the Assign to Agent menu. This will now grant the agent the ability to add the lockbox to their listing. For the serial number field, you will enter the device ID of the lockbox, and finally you'll enter the sharing code in the last field and select Save. Back in your lockbox management screen, you can view your inventory by serial number, by the assigned agent, or filter by brand. Every time a box changes hands, you can easily reassign it to different agents by selecting Edit and choosing a new agent from the Assign to Agent drop-down menu. It's important to note here that BrokerBay will be the primary platform for granting lockbox access. The Vault app will mostly be utilized by members who have lockboxes registered directly to their accounts. If you are the owner of a lockbox, you are able to use the Vault app to open the door as well as remove its shackle via Bluetooth. First, you wake up your lock by pushing any of its buttons, You'll know it's awake when the buttons turn blue. If you're in the Locks tab on the app, the lock you have just woke up will present a key. You can tap the key, wait for the click, and pull open the door. It is important to note that this circular button, called the Clear button, works as a reset key and not an Enter key. Paying attention to this button is crucial as it does change color to notify you of status changes. 
Pressing it will erase all input and restart the current process. Once you have downloaded the MasterLock Vault Enterprise app and registered your lockbox, first push the shackle all of the way down into the box. This makes sure it is in the appropriate position for the inner lock to properly release. Then, to remove the shackle, open the lockbox details page by tapping the lockbox name and then touch the remove shackle button. The clear button on the lockbox will light green and you will hear a click. You can then remove the shackle by firmly pulling. Did you notice the five second countdown? This is called the auto relock delay. By default, Master Lock has this set to five seconds. To change this, open the lock details screen and select auto relock delay from the settings options. You can slide this time frame anywhere from four seconds up to a minute. After pressing save, you may notice that red arrows appear. These indicate that you have made a change in the app that has not yet been synced to the lockbox. To apply the update, wake the lockbox and allow the Bluetooth to sync that information. The arrows will disappear when the update is complete. If you need to remove the shackle but the lockbox is not registered to you, the owner of the lockbox will need to share the primary code with you. Note that this code is located in the Vault account associated with the lockbox. Because it works as the private PIN number for the device, it allows full control over all functions of the device. This code should never be shared publicly for security reasons. To locate the primary code, the lockbox owner must open the lock detail screen for the device and select access codes. Here, they can view the primary code for this lock. Initially, this is a set of random numbers generated by master lock. However, you can tap on and customize the code. Once you are aware of the primary code, there is a special process to then utilize that code in removing the shackle. It does take some patience to master, but otherwise it is a simple process. You first press and hold the circle button before then pressing the first digit of your primary code at the same time, then quickly release both buttons. Finally, you put in the remainder of your primary code, not including the first number. Wait for the click and remove the shackle. This may take a bit of practice to get the timing down right. Remember that only the registered owner can remove the shackle with Bluetooth. So if you'd like anyone else to be able to do it, you'll have to share the primary code. So for example, on this lockbox, the code is one, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do first is hold down the clear button, followed by the one at the same time and then let go of both, then two, three, four, hear that click and remove the shackle. Waking the lockbox first. One, two, three, four. Shackle clicks, light turns green. Now that the shackle has been successfully removed from the box, let's review how to place the box on a door. The most important piece to placing the lockbox is ensuring that the shackle is completely locked back into the box before you walk away. To do this, hold the box at an angle that allows you to push the shackle all the way down into the body of the box. Then, to confirm the shackle is fully secure, you will want to listen for the click before letting go. Once you hear that click, firmly pull down on the body of the lockbox a few times to check that the shackle is securely attached. Depending on the type of door handle, it may be helpful to rotate the box around to pull. If the battery is dying in your lockbox, you are notified a few different ways. You will receive an email, view a notification in your app, and see the light on your lockbox change to yellow. You can change your own battery by using a flathead screwdriver to open the battery compartment located on the inside of the front door. These lockboxes take CR123A batteries, which can be located at most retail stores and last between three to four years. After replacing the dead battery with a new one, keep in mind that it may take the box anywhere from two to 24 hours to stop displaying the yellow low battery light. If a master lock lockbox is dead, you can place the terminals of a nine volt battery to the jump contacts at the bottom of the box. And while holding it there and making sure the box is awake, either touch the blue key icon in your vault app or type in the access code to open the door. Just like the app, your main page in the online version of Vault begins on the Locks tab. You can see all of the locks registered to your account. To add a new lock using the online platform, you click the plus add new lock button to the right and enter the device ID and activation code included in the packaging with your new lock. The online platform does make it easier to make changes to multiple boxes in bulk. If you click this box to select all lock boxes, you can update the auto relock delay, primary and secondary codes all at one time. 
However, the update is not final until someone with authorized access visits the lockbox with Bluetooth turned on to sync the information. You can click on a singular lockbox to view the same lock details as you do in the app, including settings, access, location, history, and notifications. Let's wrap up by looking at some of the ways you can share access to your Master Lock Bluetooth lockbox. Again, anyone in the BLC can book showings or work appointments through the Broker Bay link. The Vault app will only be used for special cases, which I will give some examples of as we go through them. Your first option for sharing is to grant individual access to someone. Doing this will add the lockbox to that individual's lock tab screen, allowing them to open the lockbox door using Bluetooth. However, they are granted no other access rights. An administrator may find this function useful if they're handing out lockboxes and would like an individual realtor to be able to easily open and close the door with the push of a button. If you'd like to do this, you will open the lock detail page, scroll down to access, and select individual access. You may not see anyone in your contacts quite yet. To add someone from this screen, you'll select the plus sign in the top right corner and add the individual's email address and first and last name. You can then select for this person to have ongoing access by keeping that option toggled on, or you can set a specific day and time frame. Your second option for sharing is to create a temporary code. Doing this will generate a time-based code that will allow an individual to open the lockbox during a specific time frame only. An administrator may find this function useful to grant short-term access without having to set an appointment in Broker Bay. If you'd like to do this, you open the lock details page, scroll down to access and select temporary code. After selecting a date and time from the standard user schedule and clicking get code, you will see the code appear on the screen. From here, administrators may share the code directly from the app. Temporary codes work in four hour increments and are automatically generated, so they do not require listing agents to visit the lockbox to update the change. Your third option for sharing is to create secondary access codes. You can generate up to five secondary codes that would give ongoing access to those people you share them with. An example of when an administrator would use this function could be for long-term contracting jobs. You could share the code with the contractor and then remove and update it when the job is complete. If you'd like to do this, you open the lock details page, scroll down to access and select access codes. You can tap on the secondary code name and complete the same steps as we did to change the primary code. Note that secondary codes are updated via Bluetooth, which requires an authorized agent to be within range of the lockbox to change the code. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope you feel ready and prepared to utilize these lockboxes in all the ways that will help you do your business your way. If you find you need any assistance in the future, support is available by phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 317-956-1912. You can also contact via email at helpdesk at myboard.com or register for future training sessions at myboard.com forward slash BLC listing service.